The only vice presidential debate focused heavily on the presidential candidates. The tone last night was sharp and a little heated. Democrat Tim Kaine pushed Republican Mike Pence to explain Donald Trump's views, and Pence took aim at Hillary Clinton's performance in office. John Dickerson, Major Garrett, and Nancy Cordes are all at Longwood University in Farmville, Virginia. And we begin with Nancy and the biggest moments from the debate. Nancy, good morning. Good morning. Mike Pence was a calm counterpoint to Donald Trump's debate performance last week, though he stayed calm by refusing to acknowledge some of Trump's more shocking pronouncements. Tim Kaine is known as a happy warrior, though with his ticket in the lead, some Democrats wondered whether he had to go on offense quite so much, even if he did it with a smile. I cannot believe that Governor Pence will defend the insult-driven campaign that Donald Trump has run. Clinton's running mate went on offense within the first two minutes. You guys love Russia. Approach. You, you, you both heavy -handed said repeatedly you jumping in and pressing Pence to justify Trump's look, most contentious you, comments. When Donald Trump says Mexicans are rapists and criminals, I can't imagine how you could defend that. Pence's strategy was neither to defend nor disavow, but deflect. You whipped out that Mexican thing again. Or deny. If Donald Trump had said all the things that you said he said in the way you said he said them, he still wouldn't have a fraction of the insults that Hillary Clinton leveled when she said that half of our supporters were a basket of deplorables. The very next day she said, you know what, I shouldn't have said that. You will look in vain to see Donald Trump ever taking responsibility for anybody and apologizing. The two clashed over foreign policy. Kane using Ronald Reagan's words to attack the Republican nominee. He said the problem with nuclear proliferation is that some fool or maniac could trigger a catastrophic event. And I think that's who Governor Pence's running mate is, exactly who oh, President on. Reagan warned us about. Senator, Senator, that was even beneath you and Hillary Clinton, and that, that's pretty low. Pence slammed Clinton's record. In the wake of Hillary Clinton's tenure as Secretary of State, where she was the architect of the Obama administration's foreign policy, we see entire portions of the world, particularly the wider Middle East, literally spinning out of control. When Hillary Clinton became Secretary of State, Governor Pence, do you know that Osama bin Laden was alive? Yes. Do you know that we had 175,000 troops deployed in the battlefield in Iraq and Afghanistan? And with Trump's taxes dominating the race this week, Kane brought them up 10 times. And when Hillary said you haven't been paying taxes, he said, that makes me smart. So it's smart not to pay for our military. It's smart not to pay for veterans. Senator, yes. do you take the, the all the deductions thing, that you're entitled the, to? The last thing I want to ask Governor Pence is I do. This. Joyful Republicans were quick to declare that Pence had won the debate, while Democrats were more subdued, saying simply that Kane had done his job and arguing that it's the job of a VP candidate, Gail, to get a little feisty. All right, feisty was the word. Thank you very much, Nancy.